Be sure and tell them Large Mars sent ya. <laughs> In the 90s, we were just teeny tights. We went to movies and our bikes. We wanted to be DJs, but we were just teeny gals. So we went off to college and we remained. betrayed her coven, they would kill her. Bye! Sweet dreams, Sarah. How have you been sleeping? Hey guys, welcome to the Large Marge Sent Us Podcast, your favorite podcast where two sweetie sisters talk about their favorite flicks from childhood. I'm Sweetie. And I'm Sweetie. And today we're covering one of the movies uh, that was very, very important to me as a child um, for many reasons, which we'll get into, but it is... The, the craft. craft. Woo. Um, so I saw this movie when I was in fourth grade with my friend Kim Kaplowitz. What up? Um, <laughs> Hope you're listening, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> the babysitter let us watch this movie, and we thought it was the coolest shit in the world until this very scary part towards the end, which scared the shit out of us, and we cried. And the babysitter had to tell Kim's mom that she let us watch an R-rated movie and she may have gotten in trouble and may not have come back to babysit. I'm not sure. Um, it's kind of silly this <laughs> is rated R. Um, it said in the trivia that they like kept it so clean for PG-13 just because they wanted people to see it. And because it was teenage girls doing witchcraft, that made the board be like, no, this is R. Really? Yeah. So then they went, they were like, okay, if it's R, then we can do this other stuff because no. they must have added well there was no. swears there was a lot of scary well, things wait, in this. this and this was after 96 yeah no no that's not what it said but mate i mean no because they would have had to show the like whoever rates the movies right and when they not determine who... they can they have like other cuts of the movie right. they can like anyway like, honestly it i thought it was going to be scarier i remember it being scarier but Obviously, no. you're young when yeah. you're watching no, this. No, I mean, it's not. Stuff leaves a different impression on you. Well, like I said, it was just that end part that, like, really turned yeah. the tables for me. Up until that point, we were like, this is well, so cool. you don't cool. see anything. Like, the guy falls out the window. You don't even, like, see him land on the pavement. I know those are, like, artistic choices, but, like, <laughs> well, come on. Okay, yeah, but you don't need to. It was more no, about the why. scary, yeah. like, no. there's just Nancy being scary is the scary part. Nancy is fucking scary. Yeah. That girl, I love Feruza Balk, but wow. She really turned a leaf in this one. It's funny. I don't love her because of this. Like this movie really <laughs> tainted well, how I, mean, I see it, I love her how I view an, her an actress and the other two movies prior that she was in. So if everyone remembers when we did the worst witch, okay, she's coincidentally done only <laughs> witch movies that we've seen. Weird. Only Though she wasn't in, almost famous. We've done in one, only one other movie that she was in, and it was the worst witch. But she is in Ozma of Oz. No, it's uh, called Return, Return to, to Oz. Oz. <laughs> Based on Ozma of Oz, the book, though. But she's not a witch in that, but there's, like, witches in it. I don't know if that counts. Of course it counts. I don't know. Anyway, the bitch is creep <laughs> city. But, yeah, this movie definitely solidified yeah. everybody's opinion of how fucking terrifying she is. So, Do you know Feruza means turquoise in Farsi? <laughs> no. And when she popped out, was born, her dad was like, Feruza! Because her, her <laughs> eyes were like turquoise oh, blue. Oh, wow. She does have the craziest, cool. most beautiful eyes. Yeah, they're and, very big. Because she's so dark. Yeah. Yeah. And that mouth, that crazy clown mouth. <laughs> she's just crippy, crippy. Um, but yeah, this movie, if I could pick a movie that kind of embodied my childhood, 
maybe not childhood, but my like my like awakening into into teenage yeah. land. I would pick oh, this but you movie. Were so young. No. I was fourth grade, but I had been wearing a bra for a year, yeah, so I feel like I was earlier. an old fourth grader, you know, old witch soul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so obviously, this movie made my friends and I think that we were witches. Totally. Um, we were obsessed with it. We would watch it all the time. I think Kim. How many times do you think it. you've seen it? Um, I mean, where did you get it? We rented. It. I mean, Amy, the babysitter, yeah. like rented it. Okay. And then I think Kim must have her parents bought it for her on VHS or something. Wow. Um, I don't know, 50, 50 times. Oh my god, that's so funny. Maybe more. I feel like that's How? a low estimate. Oh, I don't so know. It's like every time you hung out with this group of friends, you watched it. We watched this on Empire Records and yeah, um, Grease Two for, these for nin- some reason. Nineties gems. <laughs> these were the nineties. Grease Two. It was very big for us. I don't know. And like those have all the same people in it. I know. Robin Tooney <laughs> is in both of those. I know. That guy is in Grease Two and Empire Records. Wait. Oh, Rex Murray. Yes. Weird. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. Wait, <laughs> Feruza isn't in Empire Records. No. no, no, just Robin. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Slutty Liv Tyler. I love that movie. <laughs> that like really like I mean, that was like my. I breakfast think you club. mean Slutty Renee Zellweger. Oh right, right. She, Liv Tyler pretends oh, to be slutty, God. but then she's like, I can't do this, and she leaves. So yeah, I feel like Empire Records was like my Breakfast Club, mm. like of our oh, of yeah. the nineties. That was like was the nineties Breakfast big Club. Big for us too. Yeah, we'll cover that soon. Anyways, different movie, different Although, time. Just a quick quick word about Empire Records. So upsettingly enough, they seem to have only put the um like the dir- i think it's the director's cut on like amazon uh-huh. like anytime you try that, to, to rent so it different? it's very different like, until you see it like it's not the same it's i feel like it's not the same movie at all like i just there's something about the flow it's just not right so yeah. well you'll see when we when we watch it and you'll be disappointed so balls yeah, yeah. all right so let's talk about this flick instead yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah such a uh, good 90 i mean this is a straight time capsule of the 1990s right like kind of. the school is a, like an la school basically it's like 90210 but like a catholic school <laughs> it's a little different yeah you got your jerky boys you got your loser girls you got your popular girls i mean it's high school it's yeah i mean aside from I, uh, like the only thing that screams 90s about this to me is seems to be the hair accessories and the jewelry like and that the, fa- the fashion yeah, but it's a Catholic school, so I feel like it wasn't. But their outdoor clothes, out of cl- like school clothes, they had the overalls, the chunky boots, oh, yeah, the yeah, socks yeah. with the loafers. We'll talk about, we'll the talk big about thing the that chunkies. stands out for me is that a Skeet Ulrich is in it, who's like <laughs> the '90s douche hole, and b the '90s alt rock soundtrack. Oh my god, I love this <laughs> soundtrack so that. much. Alt rock soundtrack. Many yes. of the like bands that I still listen to today yes. like came from this movie. Which I will talk about in detail. It just reminds me of like smoky coffee shops, like reality bites, dark clothing. It reminds I don't me know. of Mexican blanket shirts and, yes. <laughs> and but, like weird tinted sunglasses. But doesn't it like make you feel like oddly so comforting? Because the 90s was such a lovely time where like nothing, nothing happened. was wrong. Yeah. Bill Clinton was yep. there for us. This country was in amazing shape. We had a surplus of the economy. We had not any really terrorism. Uh, there were so many, terrorism, so many not. good game shows. So this many good shows. Now. Like, yep. you know. It just was such a safe time. And obviously we were kids, so we felt that more than ever. But yeah, no matter what it is, stuff in the 90s, I'm just like, big hug. Mm-hmm. Just like a comforting, I know. warm mm-hmm electric blanket of the 90s it might be nev campbell she might be the nev blanket. campbell too she might no, be the blanket i'm telling you yeah it's like it's just bizarre but she's cozy she's i cozy. agree i mean i was 13 when this came out i really have only seen this movie maybe like twice i do love the witches but um like witches in general oh really <laughs> i was like well, wow uh, we've actually we've covered a just lot of witch like, movies this movie just didn't speak to me as it did yeah you. oh sure yeah, I understand. I mean, not everyone can be, you know, a dormant witch until they see this movie and then become a witch. So, <laughs> you're not a year, <laughs> Robin T. You're Sarah. Oh, uh, we'll talk about it <laughs> in detail. Okay. okay. Well, I think we should summarize this one because yeah, maybe we should. a lot of people haven't seen it, but maybe they have and they'll be like, ooh, that one. So, it's time for the sweetie synopsis. Yeah, I invoke thee. I drink of my sister's. <laughs> Uh, Sarah Bailey has just moved to Los Angeles, California from San Francisco. Uh, she arrives in LA with her father and her stepmother. She's not too excited, but you know, it's hard to tell because she's kind of, she's kind of a stone, she's kind of a stone cold lady. I don't fox, know. Fox, stone cold fox. Fox, she's a fox. 
Um, <clears throat> so she goes to her new school, which is a weird Catholic school that has lots of policemen um, kind of, you know, oh, yeah. pacing the halls, looking out for hooligans, roughing. I don't know if that's an L.A. thing. I guess, you know, schools in L.A. in the 90s needed cops. I don't know. Well, my question is the uniform thing. So they have to wear uniforms at the Catholic school. Well, but they're pretty lax on that right, yeah. because the tops are all different. It, well, it seems like you get a uniform when you start. Yeah. And then they say, all right, pick one of these things that you can wear. Right. <laughs> like You really just the need plaid, to highlight just one. Just the plaid skirt, right? Yeah. And a white top. I mean, some people, some some days they wear all the things, the yeah. blazer, the tie, the top, okay. the skirt, the knee socks. I don't know. It seemed really But relaxed. if you just had your plaid skirt on and a white shirt, not the white down white button down shirt, it seemed like that was okay. I yeah. don't know. I'm not an expert on Catholic schools. Big chunky like jackets, obviously, like any kind of footwear you wanted, yeah. knee socks, but not all the it time. It seemed okay. Like aside from having to go to mass every day, like yeah. it seemed okay. It right. seemed okay. No, it seemed like a fun place. Yeah. It seemed like a regular seemed okay. school. <clears throat> so Sarah goes to school. She meets these three girls who are kind of mean to her, but not really. It's confusing. It's a confusing scene. Yeah. Um, one of the girls, Bonnie, sees Sarah doing this cool pencil levitation trick in class where she makes the pencil kind of stand on its end and then turn around. She's like, whoa, she's a witch just like me and my <laughs> friends. So she tells her friends, like, she's here. She's our fourth. So they want to get the four corners, which is a big thing, I guess, in Wiccan uh, witch, yeah. in witchcraft where you need north, north, east, south, and west. So they think she can be the fourth and they can start making cool things happen. Um, however, Nancy, the kind of leader of their group, is kind of mean, and so she doesn't really, she doesn't give off the friend vibes right away, you know? So Sarah's like, ooh, it's scary. I don't like you guys, bitches. She goes away. Uh, school babe Chris Hooker, unfortunate last name, <laughs> um, <laughs> sits down and talks to her and is like, hey, you're pretty. Um, want me to tell you about those three girls over there? They're witches. Yeah. Stay away from them. Such a gossiper, that Chris Hooker. Such a gossiper. Really spreading the, spreading the He's rumors. like, that one's a slut. I didn't have sex with her, but I know she's a slut. Yeah. False. You this, definitely this had sex with her. This girl scars on her back. I've never seen them, but, but like, like yeah, sure she does. She and then I'm not going to say anything about that other girl because she's black, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about her. Obviously, he thought that. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, so Sarah's like, uh-huh, okay, whatever. So she goes and watches his football practice, like, eh, kind of, I don't know. She's like sort of into him, but I don't, it's, 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 it's a strange yeah, relationship. You just, well, you just can't tell how she's feeling. She's yeah, cool she's as a cucumber, that one. Fox. So the three girls, Bonnie, Nancy, and Rochelle come and are like, hey, want to go shopping with us? AKA steal things from this cool <laughs> witch shop down the street. So they go to the witch shop. They like sh- shoplift things. Sarah's like, yikes, these girls are crazy. Um... They go, they're walking down. Somehow it's all of a sudden night outside and they're walking down the terrifying streets of yep. L.A. downtown, I guess. I don't know where that is, yeah. but it seems so very the scary. And, like the random like priest was there. And, like, <sighs> Come back to Jesus. Yeah. It's a like, homeless guy who keeps carrying around Oh, yeah. Snakes. So this guy with snakes is stalking Sarah? Question yeah, mark. We're not weird. sure about it. But, uh, she's scared. So she runs away from him down the crowded street. She crosses the street. He's whole, He's like in the middle of the street. Like, I had a dream about you. In my dream, you were dead. dead. And then all the girls turn and look at him. And they apparently make the car hit them. Even though he was in the middle of the street the anyway. Of so the road, walking very wobbly with snakes. <laughs> of course he's going to get hit. <laughs> he had a snake that time too. Yeah. I yeah, think, I he had think, a little tiny like what? garden. garden Why does thing? he keep getting all these snakes from? Is he the devil? Yeah, probably. Oh my god, I, there is no devil. There's that other thing. Okay, so he's dead. They run away into the woods. They're like, oh my god, we made it happen. They're very excited. Then like they're like, Sarah, has stuff like this happened to you before? And she's like, well, kind of, but like not in that way. So she explains how things like this have always kind of happened, but in a different way. Like she'll wish that it rains and instead of pipe bursts in her room, that kind of thing. Nancy's like, uh. That didn't happen. Air full of shit because she's jealous. And she's like, well, if you've ever done that, have you ever done invoking the spirit, which is this crazy thing, it sounds like, where you invoke the power of Manon, who's this god that I I guess is... Like sort of like the witch sort of like nature, god, but mostly uh, yeah, just nature. It seems like nature, yeah. So there's no god or devil; it's just all one all thing called Manol. And I always thought it was called Manol <laughs> when I was little, and I didn't find out until someone on Twitter told me that it was like Manon. And I was like, what? I was like, is well, that it's French? Like Manon, but it's French, but you don't pronounce. Oh, it it's French. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Why Manon. is he French? I don't know, but I guess that's like very common, like woman uh, name in fr- a name in France. Mm, but, cute. Um, cute. 
I consider it. But if he's nature, is he really male or female? Like no, no right? Okay. Didn't sound like it. Yeah, no. but they kept calling him. She kept calling him. him. him right? yeah, I don't know. It's just like a sexist bullshit yeah. thing that happens. <laughs> uh so sarah so they go back whatever so she's like back to school as usual chris is like hey want to come to my house and have sex and she's like no i'm I'm cool so next day at school the girls come up to her and they're like so you had sex with chris and she's like what no i didn't so i guess he tells everybody it's he's upset that she said she didn't want to have sex with him he was rejected he yeah, was rejected, so he's like, oh, we had sex, and it was terrible, which is a way to get back at someone, I guess. So, like, fuck high school, man. That is, like, some deep I don't, That's shit. never happened. I know. I never, I don't know. That was just not He just our, seems like a crazy psychopath. Yeah, he just, he's the biggest loser mm-hmm. around. So Sarah's like, well, Skeet. they were right. <laughs> Skeet sucks. Skeet ball. Chris Hooker Skeet. sucks. <laughs> um, so she goes with the girls and kind of joins their circle and coven if you will they're coven so they do all kinds of cool witch things they go on this field trip in the woods and they're like hey let's hold this knife against our throat and do a thing and put our blood do in the a cup. speech do the speech it is better that you should rush upon this blade than enter the circle with fear in your heart how do you enter with perfect love <laughs> and perfect trust <laughs> kiss speech. yeah <laughs> So that's, that's how what they, they like, do. In the circle. And then they prick their finger and they put the blood in the wine mm. and then they drink the wine and they like talk about like, oh, here's some wine. Here, I have some wine. And they're like, I drink of my sister's and I take in me. And then you like say something yeah, that you want. want. So like, I want this podcast to be the best yeah. ever. And then I drink. So each of the girls has like a thing mm-hmm. wrong in their life, let's say. So Sarah decides that even though that guy was a complete jerk face to her and is spreading rumors that she's not only a slut but bad in bed. She's like, hmm, I want him to fall in love with me. Worst choice ever. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Uh, one girl is being bullied by this uh, girl who is on her swim team. Uh, she's a diver, sorry, dive team, who is a racist and <laughs> only hates her because she's a Negroid. I don't even know who says that anymore. It's 1996. <laughs> is weird. that a word? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> so that's her like thing. Bonnie, played by Nev Campbell, has these horrible, unexplained back scars all over her back. You don't know how she got them. Perhaps born that way. We don't they're know. Like, yeah, they're very like Freddy Krueger burn yeah. kind of scars. So because of this, she wears bulky clothing and never showers. Not really sure apparently, why the showering is tied into apparently that. Apparently, when uh, you have bad scars, you can't <laughs> shower properly because you're like, I'm already so ugly. Who cares yeah. if my hair is greasy? Yeah. I Okay. She just didn't feel good about herself, let's say. Nancy, uh, don't really know what hers is. I mean, she's she is she kind of is a, a trailer trash. Let's say trash, I hate using trashy. that word, but yep. she lives in a trailer. Her mom is a drunk and married to or uh, ma- married or just dating that guy. I think oh, married if yeah. she had his pen or she got his. And he's this like creepy dude, and she hates her life. She just like lives in this dumpy her, trailer. Yeah, so she kind of wants to get out of her life, but doesn't actually ever say that. Right? She talks more about just getting power in general. Yeah. 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 But she, I mean, she's unhappy. She's obviously very unhappy with her life and her situation. So. Yeah. yeah. So they do, they, they drink all the wine with the blood in it and, you know, hunky-dory, like, let's all hope this works. Yay. And we don't get AIDS. Yeah. Woohoo. Um, go back to school the next day and immediately Sarah's spell starts working because uh, well, Chris Hooker. Yeah. Well, the thing is that we don't, the, the interesting thing about this movie is the timeline is yeah, very confusing. So we don't know when she did that spell. They don't let us see her do that spell. But apparently she did a love spell. Oh, I thought that was like when they were going around no, and saying this. That's stuff. just like that's they're just like taking in there. But I think she did like an actual love spell. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we don't have the timeline, but like suddenly Chris Hooker is like following her around like a little puppy dog. Once we'll carry her books, we'll do anything she says. So it's like putty in her hand. She doesn't actually act on it. But he basically becomes borderline stalker, mm-hmm. which is funny at first because he's embarrassing himself. But then she's like, ah, this is like, yeah, she wants annoying. it to stop. But she can't. Yeah. Um, Rochelle, the diver, puts gets a lock of the girl who's bullying her hair, braids in her own hair. And then um, the bully, the girl who's bullying, her hair starts to fall out. It's real she's gross. She's like beautiful blonde hair. Um, and yeah, falls out. Played by the... Um, Christine Taylor. Taylor from Hey Dude or Brady Bunch. And married to Ben Stiller. Married to Ben Stiller. I saw them on the street one time, both of them, in New York. Both of them together? Yeah. It was my, one of my what? first celebrity sightings. I know. It was really What weird. were they doing? They were coming off a date. We had all gone to the theater and we were like, was all this leaving. before they were married or after? No, after. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was like Cute. Um, and then Bonnie, 
her scars. She had actually like coincidentally gone through this like gene therapy for all the scars mm, on her back. Suspicious. Yeah. So the doctors all think it's that because miraculously she's cured. All the scars like fall away. Just come off like yeah. this. I, lo- I love that part because I just enjoy, you know, when you get a bad sunburn yeah, it peels and you off. peel. That's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like that. And it's very rewarding to like have it all like crisp away, but yeah. it's very flaky. It just so it comes off so easily. Yeah. I'm surprised the doctor wasn't like, whoa. I don't know. We need to study the Medical shit out of this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all the spells work, except Nancy's. So Nancy's is slightly delayed. But in the meantime, they're like kind of uh, increasing their power and doing all these like fun witchy stuff that you would do. Mm-hmm. And they have all these fun sleepovers and so do like sleepovers. fun little witch games. This really made me miss sleepovers. I know. They did I'm a lot. Like, Can we have a sleepover? Even side? though I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like, m- although I feel like middle school was a sleepover time, I feel like while you have them in high school they're maybe not as many or not as fun yeah. well because you can drive yourself home and like whatever yeah but yeah middle school that was where it yeah. was sleep at. oh my god and you just stay up all night oh, and play the stupidest god. games and like make obstacle courses out of sleeping bags <laughs> okay um, I yeah, I stay up all night one night before basketball practice. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging your feet. <laughs> Worst practice ever. Mom was so mad. Um, so yeah, so but before long, things start to go a little wrong because Nancy gets power hungry and she does the invocation of the spirit, which Wait, is a you big didn't deal. Say what happened to Nancy? Her spell finally works. Well, no, that's not really her spell. Like, she just makes him have a heart attack. Uh-huh. Like, it's a little different. So, yeah. So, her dad is... Um, stepdad. Her stepdad um, tries to hit her mom, and she freaks out and is like, don't you touch her? And she, like, stares at him with, like, scary eyes and basically makes him have a heart attack. And makes the microwave explode. I mean, that was the well, real right. loss there. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they were cooking up that <laughs> night seemed like a real <laughs> big deal. They were very excited. Um, yeah, so he dies. And it turns out he actually had a pension plan... Um, oh, so I don't know what the fuck company he was working yeah. at where he had this kind of um, life insurance. I don't know. That was very strange. That's why I thought she maybe cooked that part up too and like was part of the spell to like manufacture oh. some like fake. No, it wasn't That's fake, but like that was part of it. That's interesting. Yeah. No, but yeah. So they get $175,000. So they're very excited. They move to this swanky apartment, high rise in like LA. Very cool. Glass windows everywhere. No privacy really. So, um, so cool, cool. So next step, though, is Nancy invokes the spirit. So they go to the beach. They do this crazy thing. They get spirit they animals. They call the corners. They have their spirit animals. They do the hail to the guardians of the watchtowers of the north by the powers of mother and earth. Hear us. And they all say their thing. So the spirit comes, invokes Nancy, which essentially means that she gets struck by lightning but is okay. Um, they wake up in the morning. They're like, wow, that was fun. Remember when Nancy got struck by lightning? <laughs> and then she's just, Nancy's walking on water a la Jesus. Yeah. And he's like seriously deranged. Yeah, she's crazy. She sounds like a crazy, crazy. person. She's like, who's And cute? she looks crazy. Yeah. And you know she's crazy because her hair is like weirdly spiked. Is that because of the lightning? Job. I don't know. But it just continues. And then at some point, it's like curling. It kind of like looks like her mom's. I'm like, you're just turning into your mother. And they like paint her in white paint. And they're like, you're so goth yeah. now. You're yeah. so bad. You're so evil. She, she wore so. She always wore a lot of black. But then she's like piling on the necklaces. Like, and you it gets can tell. Crazy. You can it tell when crazy. you go bad in the witch yeah. community. Like that is so toe up. <laughs> so from this point on, Nancy gets very insane, very crazy. Her power is very strong. And it's making Sarah very uneasy because she notices that they're changing. So, um, so like, so Bonnie, instead of, she used to be nice, but now she's very narcissistic and mean. Rochelle is mean too, I guess. I guess everybody's just mean is what she means. Yeah. (laughs) I just, I was, it was really sad to me because I'll talk about this more a little bit later, but like they had like such a good thing going with that friendship. And then it just went to shit. Everything you touched went to shit. shit. Yep. So, so Chris, Chris Hooker is continuously more obsessed with Sarah. He like shows up at her house in the middle of the night. She's like, all right, let's talk. So they go and they talk and essentially tries to rape her. Yep. Oops. So what happens? Well, so they have this thing that says if you whatever you put out, you get back times three. So she was like, I want him to love me. And then what came back was like this intense love to the point where he was like basically yeah. turned into a rapist. Yeah. So, so she runs don't away. Don't do a love spell. The girls are upset. Nancy's like, where would he be? Like, I want to find him. 
So she tracks him down to this party, goes like, is like, I know where Sarah is. And she takes him up to an upstairs room. Uh, she tries to like have sex with him. He's like, ew, get away from me. And she then does this cool glamour thing where she turns herself into Sarah, which they do kind of earlier when Sarah makes her hair blonde. Fun so scene. that was like the ultimate rejection for her, right? Because she like did really like him still. I think so, yeah. And when she was on the bed, like, no, not like almost like not again. Like and she thought, like, I like, know how you like. Yeah. Me. Yeah. And I think that was like when she like really cracked because probably she thought she's like had all this power and could do whatever she wanted, but she was but still she her. Yeah, but she still couldn't get yeah. the person she loved or yeah. whatever. Even though I don't know why everyone fucking I loves this guy. He sucks. Uh, um, anyway, so they, yeah, so she's, he's like, oh, Sarah, and they, like, start having sex, and then the real Sarah walks in, she's like, what the fuck, and sees Nancy, like, with him, and then Chris looks back, and Nancy has turned back into herself, so he's like, ah, and then <laughs> freaks out, and is like, you're crazy, like, you're just jealous, and that really sets Nancy off, and she, like, does the scary, f- like, floating thing with her feet, very scary, we'll talk about it, um, pushes him out the window with her mind, powers, I guess, yeah nature there's like a storm <laughs> there's always is a there storm some, wait is scream the one where he falls out somewhere and gets impaled is that something no. i mean he dies and scream but not yeah in that way god why am i maybe i'm thinking of edward scissorhands the same like someone falls just out watch that yeah. this could be it could be no, but yeah. there's like some movie where some guy falls the window and gets impaled on like the fence on the bottom monster squad oh maybe yeah. sounds like it yeah, so Chris is dead. Sarah's upset. She's like, I need to get out of this. This is a co- this is a toxic friendship. Toxic coven. I'm <laughs> toxic out of here. coven. I need to get out. <laughs> so they're like, you can't get out. And they start kind of infesting her dreams and like really scaring her. Nancy is getting more and more scary by the day and more and more gothic by the day. So you know things are serious. Yep. Um, she's like, I want out. Uh, they're like, okay, that's fine. Uh, but just so you know, uh, in the old days, when a witch would leave her coven, they would kill her. So, <laughs> good luck. So it's a threat. I've ever heard one. <laughs> yeah. So she like runs home to the to the witch shop and is like, "Help me! My friends are scary and they're gonna kill me." And the witch lady tells her the only way to like defeat Nancy is to invoke the spirit yourself. And Sarah's like, "Wait, but that made Nancy crazy." And and the witch lady says, "Well, Nancy takes it to a dark place. Like it's the heart of the witch that kind of like." is the what dictates what the power is used for kind of so if sarah invokes the spirit it won't take it to a bad place and she'll be good because she's the good witch and nancy's the bad witch so she tries to but then nancy does some weird explosion mirage thing she's very powerful yeah very powerful so she runs away back to her house suddenly oh wait yeah she's yeah at the she house. goes back to the house the phone rings yeah. nancy's like bad news uh, your dad and your stepmom thought you ran back home to San Francisco, so they got on a plane. Uh, more bad news, that plane crashed and they're all dead. Turn the TV on. So the TV turns on by itself, and there's a news report that the plane that her dad was on crashed and they're dead. So she gets upset, she runs upstairs, and then all these bugs start coming out of the, like, gross. everywhere. And rats. And, and rats. Scorpions. <sighs> maggots. Snakes, iguanas. It's every, very like, terrifying. Never think of very scary. Coming um, out of every crevice of the house. It's a very itchy, like yeah. last twenty minutes of this film. Yeah, like I'm gross. itching right now. I'm just thinking about it. Very upsetting. Um, it's another mirage, though. It's just fucking Nancy fucking around as usual. She's like, ha ha, wasn't that funny? And then she like goes downstairs, <laughs> and then Sarah goes downstairs and finds her witch friends are now flying, levitating in the living room, and they're like, "You're gonna kill yourself tonight." <laughs> so this is essentially bullying, like yeah, point two, three point oh, like very scary. They're they're like, "You are so pathetic. Like you need to kill yourself." And Sarah's like, I'm not going to kill myself. What are you talking about? They're like, you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> and, so, and then Nancy fucking like slashes her wrist or something. The wrong way. The wrong way, not the right way. Sarah runs back up to her room and cries. And then is like, all right, I'm going to invoke the spirit. So she invokes the spirit. Bonnie and, and um, Rochelle come up to be like, Sarah, are you okay? Like, <laughs> are you dead yet? We're just kidding. And then so Sarah does the little spell and makes them see their power coming back three times three which really spooks them so uh, Bonnie has really bad burns on her face and Rochelle's balding just like um, the blonde girl was so they run away Nancy's like what the fuck 
So then Nancy goes up there and Sarah's like, all right, I'm going to do it. So she invokes the spirit and now she has all the power. Mm -hmm. So she uses her power to kind of fight Nancy in like a witch on witch fight at the end. Good versus evil, which is to good. I feel like that fight scene. Remember like they probably still have this, but the MP, MP, MTV movie awards had like <laughs> best fight. They and I remember won. this one. Yeah. And it was like, it pl- like when they, pl- I forget the music that played during that, but I feel like when they showed the clip, they played some like heavy metal music and it was like, <laughs> like some Metallica yeah. like bullshit. Well, they, oh yeah. When they play all the things yeah. that are up for it. Yeah. 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 But they won, right? Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure. It was a good, very good lady fight scene. It was. Yeah. So Sarah. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Yeah, Nancy does a lot of very scary things in that scene. So, But Sarah ends up winning and kind of like kicks Nancy into the mirror. And she does a binding spell. So the binding spell prevents Nancy from doing harm against herself and harm against others. So essentially, I think it takes her power away Mm. and like seals it up. Um, (coughs) So that's that. And then Sarah's kind of... I always thought they were moving away at the end. But now that I think about it, I think they were just like unpacking the car. Yeah, she had been shopping. I saw an express bag. <laughs> I always thought they were like moving. And now, it, now I'm like, oh, sense. yeah. But. Um, but no. So then Bonnie and Rochelle come up and they're like, hey, like, sorry again about trying to kill you. Um, we didn't think it would go that way. Yeah. Far. If you still want to be friends, we would love to. We could like call the corners, do cool witch things. And Sarah's like, mm, I'm okay. And then they're like, she probably doesn't have any powers anyway. And Sarah's like, oh, yeah. And then poof, she, like, makes another storm. There's a lot of storms in L.A., apparently. A lot of lightning, a lot of thunder. Uh, makes a tree branch come down, falls on them. They're like, whoa, she does still have her power. She means business. Yeah, and she's like, be careful. You don't want to end up like Nancy. So Nancy is now in a mental institution and can now be crazy, like, freely <laughs> because yeah. she's in a mental institution. And she's like, I can fly. <laughs> and, like, super scary crazy. Yeah. And that's how it ends. Right. So good wins. Yeah, that's the message. I really thought, I had remembered, I thought that like the three of them like still were friends and hung out, but I knew Nancy was like in the home. But I'm glad Sarah's like, fuck these bitches. Yeah. That was super shitty. Super shitty. They were having such a nice time. And it was her like entire, not fault, but like the reason they could like fill the the square or whatever. Circle. It's a circle. It's a circle, (laughs) but isn't it like northeast, southwest? They need four people. That's nice. (laughs) I know geometry, um, but it's her fault. And she was the only one who I think who's a natural witch right. who didn't like learn right. anything. So she, just, yeah, she didn't need them to yeah. do anything, but they needed her yeah. to do all of that that they could do yeah. basically. So I mean, is this a cautionary tale <laughs> about bullying? Oh, oh yeah, totally. I, I didn't think, and I don't think that anybody saw it that way right. when this was made. But in current times, yes, yeah, certainly, yeah. And that, like, good or wins over evil. Like. Yes, I think that's mainly what they were striving towards yeah. um, in making this is that, you know, gothic bad, not gothic good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's don't the sense I got out of it. spells, you might get raped. Uh, Oof, yeah. Don't, don't be this. racist. Don't be racist. Don't, don't be a bitch. Yeah. No. Yeah, the girls end up being really horrible in this, and it's just very no, it's sad. sad. And like, who are her friends now? That's what I wrote. I wrote down who's Sarah gonna hang out with now. I don't, know. I don't think who's she gonna cares. hang out with at that stupid she school. She's like a loner. Yeah, yeah, and she's, she's got her power. Then. She like she can do yeah. anything she wants, pretty much. Let's so. be real. She's gonna graduate. She's gonna go to Smith. She's gonna like have a great time. But is it just gonna be college. because of her witch powers, so she can make like all cool shit happen, yeah. or? She's she's done good things. She's now 40 years old, but she's going to do good things. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So like I said, fourth grade, this was our jam. Um, so the part that scared my friend and I so, so badly was the part where Nancy um, throws Skeet Ulrich out the window. And it's mainly because <laughs> there's this shot of her boots gliding on the floor, like toe, <laughs> toe up. Um, <laughs> toe down, I guess. And she's gliding. <laughs> just like so 
I don't know what it is about pointy shoes and somebody just gliding on the floor I'm like gonna, that. Like reenact this in the middle no! of the night. No, like scare the no! shit out of you someday. No, that and the psycho shower arm. Okay, be like, well that you it's happening. You hit. You claimed you were gonna do when I was little, but you never did. So, and I'm gonna get a shark fin and jump out. No, of okay. Well, that's <laughs> why I don't go in the water dun, dun, like dun, dun, purposely dun, 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 for that dun, dun, reason. Dun, dun. No, but yeah, this scene just like something about the the pointy shoes, and you've said that too when we watched Togus Pocus and they were hanging. It's creepy. It's creepy. Yeah, it's very scary. She's she gets very crazy there. and yeah. then freaks out. So it, up until that point, I thought we were we were like, oh, this is a fun movie <laughs> about witches. Cool. But then it was like, what the fuck? And we got so scared. And I, I may have cried. I may have cried. I don't, I don't entirely remember. But, you know, I was in fourth grade. It was very scary. I feel like it's a very realistic portrayal of what I could see witchcraft being. It's not at all, actually. I um, They had a witch, a witch on set. I know, but so a witch came to our class in eighth grade and talked about uh, Wicca, and they were like, she, she was like, the movie The Craft is nothing at all like what Why? witchcraft is. We just, it's not at all about that. Like, you can't do that kind of stuff. It's oh, more about course. like well, nature. Well, wouldn't it be an interesting movie if they were just like, oh, like, let's make a butterfly yeah. storm happen, you know, like, it's not <laughs> fun. <laughs> Store. No, uh, yeah, but she it was like, this is not realistic portrayal. But I think they were just mad about the like evil thing because right. that's really not what it's about and at all. Why, why witches have gotten a bad name is only because you only think of them doing bad, bad things, things, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like to, I, I believe in like witch stuff a little bit. Um, I think there's like there's so much energy in nature, and that's like such a force that like no one like really knows that much about. Like we're all like science, 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 even though like nature is part of science, obviously. Mm, yeah. But there is a certain like religion and spirituality, and like I mean, look at like the Native Americans, right? That goes along with that. So I like to think that there is some truth behind any sort of like True. witchcrafty stuff. Uh, I am still a witch, so. <laughs> Uh, so, because of this movie, my friends and I created a witch club uh, in which we sounds legit. We each embodied <laughs> one of these witches. So I was Sarah, obviously, because I like to be the best. <laughs> what about the other girls? What if they wanted to be? They that? picked other. Kim picked Bonnie, and we made the girl we didn't like be Rochelle because she was like the least <laughs> favorite. Who was that? I don't remember. I can't even remember who the fourth person was. Our friend Samantha was Nancy, and then. Um, it's a sh- short straw. Vanessa. Drawn. I think Vanessa was Rochelle, but we liked Vanessa. I don't know. I'm confused. Um, like uh, maybe that was just the last one. <laughs> did so, you learn anything from this movie? So things we did that were embarrassing. We like took a butter knife and reenacted the like. It is Aww, better that you should adorable. rush upon this blade than enter the circle of being your heart. We were too afraid to prick our fingers, so we just put food coloring in water oh and God. drank. <laughs> And and other embarrassing things. And then that summer, I think, yep, I burnt my leg really bad on a cup of ramen noodles. You were Bonnie. Which, yeah. So then I was like, you guys, I think I was supposed to be Bonnie this whole time. So it like fucked everything up. And I was like, I think we need to switch. So we like, yeah. So I became Bonnie, essentially. Um, But yeah, that was our club. Totally thought I was a witch. I did a love spell like later in life in college. Pretty sure it worked. What? <laughs> you didn't do it for him. Okay. What? So yeah. So I wow, think I'm a real witch. That don't you? Yeah, <laughs> yes, you I that do. Now. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm a real witch, you guys. I'm pretty sure I did it. I so. hope you are. I'd be so proud of you. You know, I, it's like the one thing I can do. Yeah. Great. You know, I can do it. She's a podcaster and witch, guys. <laughs> she wins. Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> I put a spell on you. Uh, anyway, yeah, good movie. I enjoyed that. Uh, it was like I said, just really took me back. Time capsule, nineties. Uh-huh. Feel really cozy. Want to just you know lay in my room and listen to like very sad alt rock songs. <laughs> yeah. So the main takeaway from the soundtrack is uh, the song from Letters to Cleo called "The Dangerous Type." And Letters to Cleo was maybe the band of the nineties movie. If you pick like any '90s movie, I, I bet any. you find there'll be a Letters yeah. to Cleo song in it. Yeah. I don't know. You any. don't even know. Like right. it's that just, one that's like, just there. She's a lot like you, the dangerous time. That was the first song. No, the first so when they're walking slow mo through the school uh, courtyard and Nancy's nipples are crazy. Yeah, yeah it's that yeah. one. So they did. <laughs> she actually did the the woman who sings. So their songs are in Ten Things I Hate About You. Yeah. Um, 
Josie and the Pussycats, the woman who's the lead singer, blanking on her name, but she this is a singing for Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah. Um, like, why do you do what you do to me, baby? Driving me around and you're making me crazy. That thing. So my friends and I loved her in middle school, not during this time, but after. And this was a big part of it. Um, also, this movie introduced me to Portishead, which nice. is one of my favorite bands. So, yeah, definitely moody, alt kind of rock. There's a cool version of the Beatles, um, yeah. Tomorrow Never Comes. Right? Is that no. what it's called? Tomorrow Never Knows. I always mess that up. What? Turn off your mind, relax, and float downstream. It's the song. Yeah, no, I know, I know that. They take no, that one's called that. Okay, yeah, it's something like that. Um, but yeah, it's a good soundtrack. I love it. It's totally 90s. I love that. It's totally 90s. A um, couple of cool, quick fashion gems from the 90s. So Rochelle always wears those little plastic barrettes we used so to have. so into that. They were like plastic colored. So like uh, Rochelle wears like pink daisy ones yeah. a lot. We loved the red bow, bows, blue bow, white the bow. bows, yes. And you would clip them in your hair, like at the. T- <laughs> oh, <laughs> it wasn't the even. Worst it thing. wasn't even holding up the hair. No. It was just like there. It wasn't doing anything. It was just there. It's like Drew Barrymore. So that, that lots of chokers in this. Yep, so chokers. many chokers. A lot of chunky heel shoes. So yes. So I love the chunky heel look, and it's um. So like the knee socks with the chunky heel and the plaid skirt, yep. the school uniform. I yep. love it. Love it. It's just. Amazing. I guess I had a couple of pair of overalls. I was making. Yeah, those are weird though. Yeah, those are weird pair of overalls, but they were there. Uh, I saw a beret. Yep, beret. Those like John Lennon sunglasses. So, I, just, I hate those God. so much. Nineties. Um, I don't know, like kind of satiny dresses. Yeah, and then Nancy had that crazy uh, patent leather trench coat. She like rocked the <laughs> shit out of that. Yeah, she me. You know, she was gothic. She was gothic. She had to wear the patent leather. Yeah, she, the vinyl, I don't know. Yeah, so Nancy is crazy. Um, so in addition to the pointy shoes gliding scene, here are all the other scenes that maybe I thought were very scary. So the bugs part at the end, which I think combines probably everybody's worst fear at some point all into one thing. So like, sweetie, you're afraid of yeah. mice and rats. So the there were some rats in this. This, okay, this is number two only now to <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. If you're talking about rats getting stuck in someone's nice, lovely hair. Can't do it. It's like literally my worst fear in the world. Rats in general, but there's something when they're like stuck in your hair and like crawling all in it Mm. like a nest. Does it get like stuck? Oh, that's so gross. Uh It's gross. Yeah. So, yeah. So that scene even, I mean, there are are spiders in the the earlier part of the scene, which were scary, but I'm so thankful that they didn't get utilized further in this scene. Like if spiders were coming out of the yeah. sink or something, I would have I would have died. Because Nancy was a snake. Yeah, so it was all snakes. But it's still, even if you're not afraid of snakes, it's such a creepy crawly scene because there's maggots, maggots coming out of the, out the toilet, toilet, cockroaches, scorpions yeah, in the gross. sink, every kind of bug imaginable. Super gross. It just makes you feel like so yucky. And then later she makes the same thing happen to Nancy and it's even worse because they come out of, there's like bugs coming out of her I mouth. Think, well, the worst part was to me when just like the little ones yeah. were coming out of her hands Gross and she just like shook, she shook a few of them off but then she just couldn't do it after <sighs> Yeah, so yeah, traumatizing. Um, so a few scenes of levitation which were just very, always make me uneasy and I think it's, it's probably because of Hocus Pocus but <laughs> in that scene where they, they rise in her house and they're like, you're going to kill yourself that part's yeah, very that eerie really scary too. because they don't buy i mean nancy seems like herself her own crazy fucking yeah. self but bonnie and rochelle seem a little yeah. out of it so i wasn't sure if nancy took them over somehow but i'm sure she did yeah. well i were. think they were getting a little drunk on this like new power too yeah yeah totally but yeah that, i always people floating always kind of scared me um there's a bad dream scene where they come through the window and like try to strangle her which always scared me and then if you're afraid of needles, there's a giant needle in this scene. Two needles, really. But one giant one, one where Shell's getting her gene therapy. Question Bonnie. Mark. Bonnie. Oh, sorry, but Bonnie. And then when they prick their finger. Yeah. But the big needle scene, everybody talks about who is afraid of needles because it's and they don't even show the needle necessarily going in. But it's just the idea that there's like this giant needle doing this weird thing like like searching for yeah. the spot that's the big part that i remember like the scene that i, I remember like, what therapy it. was that i was just like i don't know 
it was even a th- I don't she know. gets so upset yeah, yeah it's a little really big scream yeah, yeah so. i gotta say that flying people is really freaky too yeah, it's just like levitating thing. people is like really very creeper yeah it's just so unnatural yeah. looking. Like that flying is cool, but there's something but about the people just levity. floating. Yeah, just the free flo- yeah. flying kind of floating. Not yeah, flying, I don't like it. just I don't floating. Like it. Good. Yeah, it was scary. Um, but yeah, so uh, so thoughts. I know we talked about how Skeet Ulrich is like the 90s babe or whatever, but thoughts about Skeet Ulrich go. Okay. Well, like he's like the 90s babe who also is probably going to like rape you. I mean, that's like a horrible thing. <laughs> typecast to be skeet i feel really bad for him and i was like man like what has he done lately and then i like put on imdb and he's like currently in riverdale riverdale so he's like doing current stuff weird. so good for skeet but like gross but yeah weird career he had a, this weird career as the pseudo boyfriend slash killer yeah mostly because of scream i think right. that this sticks in people's head but he played such a good um a bad guy pretending to be good right so I and that and that was certainly his his bag in this movie, if you will. Yeah. So he was, yeah, he's like very charming at first, although not to me. Not I mean, to he's, me. Ca- he's, I don't know, no. I don't think he's cute at all. <laughs> yeah. What bothered me is this: is that when he becomes in love with her after the love spell, he's like brain dead. Like he's there's no personality to him. Yeah. He just loves her. That's like all there is. Like he doesn't can't form any like coherent thoughts. Can't isn't really listening. He's just. And then he gets so rapey McRapester. I'm just, yeah, I'm just still upset because Sarah seems like such a smart girl. Yeah. And to have somebody do that to you and start these vicious rumors because you didn't want to have sex with them the first time you hung out with somebody. She should have been like, make his penis not work or something. I don't know. (laughs) Like, but yeah, and all of a sudden she's holding the picture up and is like, I love him. Where'd she get that picture, first of all? And right, what did she go on one date with him? Like, cool girl. Post for this picture with my disposable (laughs) camera. I'm like, what? And, like you find out later that he like had it sounds like a relationship with nancy or mm-hmm. at least they like hooked up a bunch of times yeah which is like i think there were a lot of blowjobs yeah but um weird yeah so he's like nasty is i never the really only guy that. at this school yeah like, basically the fuck? and the, yeah and the guys are like, total trash in this typical 90s again um no good guy in here even sweet little breck and myers not uh <laughs> Not proper Birkenstock in this one. I'll tell you that. <laughs> he, is not, he is not proper Birkenstock in this. He's so mean. He's such a dickwad. Proper, where did you go? <laughs> so sad. Yeah. Um, so yeah, everyone is just mean in this. Really, everyone is mean. Sarah is actually the only nice person. It made me and never want to go gets, to she gets like stomped on. Yeah. So what does that say? That you can't don't win. bother being well. Don't bother being nice because like people are just gonna fuck. So you we over. should all be Nancy. Yeah, I don't want to be Nancy. No, She's crazy. Because, no, but I think like Sarah by the end really smartened up and was kind of like don't mess with me mm. kind of person. Mm. She's like I'm done being like super nice to people. Curious. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, that's my hypothesis well, I won't about be the nice craft. To people then I'm gonna write a book about it. Cool, cool, <laughs> cool. I'll pick that up. Um, it's so <laughs> it's called deconstructing the craft <laughs> wow original <laughs> original Uncrafting um, the craft. do you know how to use candles <laughs> <laughs> you light the wick i like that lady she was cool she was I cool i want to know her more about her backstory mm. and let me tell you the back room was not that impressive <laughs> <laughs> it was like bricks and spray and paint five thousand candles Woo-hoo. That you, well she could light them all at that once was which cool. was cool like she's she's legit she's legit um, I wish she would have helped Sarah out a little more. Do you think she was Spanish? Spanish accent? Gypsy? I think she was a Roman. <laughs> it was a witch accent? <laughs> <laughs> I, think she's like, I think it was Romanian gypsy. I don't know. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. Confusing. Her name is some weird like witch name if you look at the What? Credits. Her I real think... name or the character name? Her real name like is something like What's I've the never character heard name? Of. Lady who owns witch book it's store? Like Liana <laughs> or something. <laughs> something with an L. I don't know. Um, yeah so on so even though i've seen this movie maybe a hundred times i keep upping the estimate because i'm pretty sure it's wrong um but i noticed that the editing something is weird where so if you really take a step back from this movie it's really all moments like it's all montages Mm. (laughs) so i think that's why the editing gets a little funky because if you notice like i did this time bonnie and you it I mean, I'm sure there's other instances, but the easiest way is to look at Bonnie's scars and look at scenes where she does and does not have scars. 
So in some scenes before she has the actual gene therapy, she's already wearing uh, like sleeveless shirts at school and has no scars. So at some point they did something weird with the editing where they put certain scenes before they were supposed to happen and just use them. I don't know. It was weird. I never noticed that before. But like when they're walking through the school, we're like, wow, Bonnie looks so pretty and like yeah. confident. And we're like, wait, she doesn't yeah. have any scars. She washed her hair today. <laughs> <laughs> so they did something. Or maybe they thought that the, the scar removal scene was going to be earlier than it actually I was. It seems amateur mistake to me. Yeah, it's weird. Kind but if did. you really look at it, it's it's pretty crazy how many times they fucked that up. Um, but I mean, I'm not going to knock it. It's still one of my favorite movies ever. So Wow. Wow. <laughs> just for like a lot of pressure just a lot of memories I just know. a lot of Should memories to your witch days to my witch days <laughs> to life to how cool i thought catholic school was even though it wasn't at all probably <laughs> yeah any school you have to go to mass like ugh. yeah but it was just like bullshit you just didn't really do anything you just like listen to the guy you're like womp womp but like some catholic school there's cops everywhere and there's a lot of probably bad kids around it just didn't seem like I don't know. Were don't knock really it until you try it. the faith? I don't know. <laughs> it seemed dodgy. Hey, guess what? What? There are three members of the Large Marge alumni in Ooh. this movie. Ooh. Okay. Ready for it? Yeah. The dad <gasps> from Flight of the Navigator. And I remember when we were watching that, I was like, what is he in? And yeah. I I didn't know that it was this, but I He's just Sarah's I dad him. in this. Yep. He has just a couple scenes, but... Glad you're still working. Dad from Flight of Navigator. Don't know your name. <laughs> and wait, when was Flight of the Navigator? Like 10 years at least before Yeah, this, 86. Right? And he was still a dad. <laughs> yeah. Way to go. Yeah. Uh, Brecken Meyer, as we said, proper Birkenstock from <laughs> Clueless, is his douchey little friend in this. And Faruza Balk uh, from The Worst Witch. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody else yet. 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 Yeah. Um, they'll be... Yeah, I can't wait till we do um, Return to Oz, which is totally another one of my favorite. I love that movie so much. Kind of scary and like favorite movies when I was little. Yeah, just so fucked up. She got that role. Was picked out of twelve hundred little girls for that role. Wow, she was very good in that. So wholesome and sweet. Yeah, it's the eyes. It's probably the eyes. She's got those big like doe eyes. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. She's wild. Yeah. But yeah, her craziness is a whole other level on this. Yeah. I know we already talked about it, but I just want to talk about it again. <laughs> She's so, so scary. She's so good. But sometimes I'm like, is that too crazy? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Well, it's, it almost felt like she was drunk. Yeah. That kind of crazy. Yeah. Drunk on power. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I also, $175,000 apparently goes a pretty long way. That's what I said. That's not like that much money. Well, Talking so about I buying, think, or, well, I guess they you're didn't, renting. I don't think, yeah, I think they just rented an apartment. Yeah. So p- probably paid like, whatever, I don't know, $3,000 yeah. for rent of that place. Got some new furniture. Got a new fancy, weird, ugly, uncomfortable yeah. couch. Jukebox. A jukebox that only plays Connie Francis. I don't know how much that was. And Nancy gets this like dope ass red sports car convertible yeah. so yeah. however much that was right i mean that's the problem when you get something like that you blow through that shit yeah. like no one's business and then you nervous. suddenly have no money so and now she's in the mental institution how much does always, that cost yeah, sometimes i think about like oh what does her mom think like she lost her husband and then well, nancy's in the mental institute the mom was not a good institution. person that's why nancy was kind of like messed up she just didn't i think her mom was come a, from a, a good fine place. person she just never had money and was an alcoholic so well, it was just i just think there was not a lot of love with nancy she, she always no, felt very rejected she was no bonnie's mom no like bonnie's mom right. was very or caring all, all the other parents were lovely <laughs> nancy like had some problems we never get to see rochelle's parents because she's black isn't that fucked up? That's like, weird. She's the character that like never gets. We don't get to see like really anything, anything about, about her, her life, about her. We get to oh, see her swimming. swimming. We get to see somebody being racist to her, but yeah. nothing about like her actual character. It's nineties bullshit. It's really again. fucked up. Yeah, fucking nineties. Fucking um, 90s. But yeah, Christine Taylor also a really good bad guy, um, a really good bitch. I think that was always her. Actually, I don't know. She could play. She's like very sweet, sweet and very mean. Well, she's is she great. mean at anything? She's else? on two, uh, the Brady Bunch movie, which you are refusing to see. Marsha, I've Marcia seen Brady. the Brady Bunch movie. She's very. mean I've seen in both that. of those, even the Hawaiian one. <laughs> she's very mean in them. She's Marsha. That was the, ca- the yeah, but character. she's very mean to Jan, and it's very funny. That's what it was like in the real Brady I know, Bunch. But she plays that good, and she also <laughs> plays sweet and like nice good. And which hey, think- dude, she was very nice. Yeah. 
Melody. and wholesome. Wait, Melody? Oh, yeah, Melody. Yeah, Melody. Yeah, Melody. That always Melanie. fucked me up because then I'm like, wait, is your name Melanie? Or well, is it I Melody? always like Brett, who was the brunette girl. Oh, remember? <laughs> it was the boy. What? Yeah. Was, no, Brad. Brad is Brad. The girl. Brad. It was a girl. <laughs> I was like, a wait. boy's name. <laughs> Brett yeah. is definitely a and boy's Ted name. And Ted is the dark hair. Dark. And then there's guy. another guy, right? I just remember, who was a blonde the, like, guy? Donnie Jeffcoat? <laughs> <laughs> who was the like little ner- not the, yeah, uh, the nerdy guy? Mr. Ernst. There was son. Er- Buddy. Mr. Ernst. <laughs> Buddy Ernst. <laughs> And there was, oh, no, there was a Native American yeah, guy. Yeah, who was Danny. that guy? Danny. Okay, wow. Okay, so, so Danny, many. Ted. We're going to watch it. Yeah. But did but they both date Ted? I don't know. I have to oh, I, re- I have to go back and revisit hey, the series. Dude. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a couple. Watch we're going to do those man-eating jackrabbits <laughs> and that killer cacti. Oh, my God. Hey, dude. We're going to go back <laughs> and we're going to have some mini episodes where we just talk uh, about TV shows yeah. from the 80s and 90s. So, okay. hey, dude, we'll be on it. Don't worry. Good. Hopefully we can find a bootleg yeah. on YouTube or something. Okay. Um, I hope to God that's true. Um, but yeah, so we'll talk about it. All right, a couple of witch crush questions oh, for you. Okay. Well, first I wanted to bring up that time we went to Salem. We went to the witch store that looked just like that witch store. Mm-hmm, Do you remember that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we live uh, near Boston and Salem, Massachusetts is right above us. About 30 minute train ride away or drive away. And obviously the Salem witch trials, y'all familiar with that. We did Hocus Pocus. I think we talked about it a little bit then. But so they have all this witch stuff there like off shooting what happened in Salem, even though that was like not real witchery, but I think that place has now been sort of like a, uh, what do you call it? Beacon for kind of spirituality and Wiccan things and stuff like that. So there's a really cool witch shop there. You were enamored by that witch shop. I remember. I'm moving to a new apartment soon. I want to get some sage and burn it. You should based on, yeah. 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 It must be really good for apartments. Sure. Cleanse the apartment. But it was so cool. So it was just like that store in um in the movie. Herbs. Yeah. Herbs. Candles. All these little things for spells. Yeah. Like, what did you end up getting? Did you get something? Liz insisted she buy me a a rock, a, a rock. gemstone or whatever yeah. that like prevented anxiety yeah, or something. Yeah. So yeah. Fun. Fun, yeah. fun, fun. So cool. Um and then I want to ask you, what four corner would you be? <laughs> Okay, well, um, so if you look at them all, and I feel like the four corners are also related elementally. So oh. you have uh, Nancy's, which is, was like a fire symbol, um, which was like the snake. Or maybe that was Bonnie's because she had the burn. See, that's where it got confusing. Well, their, their things all had like a... Earth, the, air, fire, water. Right. Uh, but then their animals were like a different thing. So the snake was like Nancy's was supposed to be like rebirth, I guess. Oh. So not only like her new life that she got from the money, but I guess also like the mm. into that spirit of a witch. Mm. Bonnie's was the was a butterfly for beauty. Um, Rochelle's was that fish for I guess like her diving swimming oh, capability. That makes sense. And Sarah was the bird, bird. a love bird, oh, going along with her love, love spell. Bird. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's but then different. so the four corners, yeah, I don't know because, wait, Sarah's was north and that's the earth. Mother line? and earth, Bonnie's was like f- something and something, feeling and something, I don't know. I forget. Based on so the characters, <laughs> I picked Sarah. I always yeah. wanted to I be like north. I feel like I would be earth too. I always wanted to be north because also Glinda the Good Witch of the North yeah. and maybe that's why they picked that for her. Um but like in terms of signs, like I'm an air sign, which I don't love. I think it's bullshit. You're My. earth, I think. It's an animal. No. Taurus. No, no, those are different. Those are oh. that's different. That's zodiac. Oh, okay. Earth, like elements are grooped together and like something. I don't know. I, don't know. I think I you're earth. Up? Sure. What? How, what do I search? Element signs. <laughs> What's your element? Try that. You know, the internet always knows what you want. It, it's there for you. I just remember looking at a YM magazine, and it had the different earth, the different element symbols, okay, and like what makeup you should wear. Oh no no! I am, I'm air too. What? Wait, what are you? Air. What are your? What's your sign? Libra. No, you are earth. Oh, well, they changed it then because YM said I was air. Oh, they have to do with the. Um, these are the seasons. <laughs> No, yeah. yeah, it's a little different. Spring, wet becoming hot, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, summer, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, autumn, earth, like, yeah, all the fall. No, ones. that's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. 
Liam said I was air and I had to wear like gross silver makeup and I was very upset about it. So I just wanted to be earth and I wanted to have cool right, green makeup. This one just says the element of earth is attached to the signs Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Hmm. So I don't that's believe it. Different again. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll look into it. We'll get back to you. Um, quick correction from last week's episode on Back to the Future. Um, Biff is not in Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> Our Twitter friend Amy corrected us and said that that was what's his face Clancy yeah. Brown or something. I, don't, I don't forget recall. that other guy that looks that like other these other guy. two guys. So now there's three of them that I can't fucking keep straight. So that's great. That's great. Real great. Um, Your life is so hard. <laughs> just add it to my problems that I have. <laughs> God. Um, but yeah. Anything else? Good correction. Um, no, I think that's it. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for listening. Uh, follow us on Twitter, join the conversation at the Sweetie Club, and follow us on Instagram at Large Marge Sent Us. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye.